Good afternoon and welcome to Level Up Games. Alex and Gemma here, going through some of our sections of stock for you to have a good look at. Yeah, we thought that we'd start doing weekly or, twi or twice weekly even videos of some of the sections that we have here. Because after all our stock videos we've done here and there for so many years, you guys haven't really seen our beautiful faces. <laughs> So today we're going to start with a console that's quite dear to my heart because it was my, well, my very first games console, which is the original Nintendo. Oh. We'll start with one of the box sets we've got in. Well, it's actually the only NES we have currently in store. Uh, Mattel version, so early before Nintendo took control back over of their distribution in Europe. Boxed up, complete. Lovely and clean as well. There is some slight markings on the box for regular shelfware, but for a NES in that condition, it's pretty nifty. What else have we got in our oh, box I'm of wonders? I'm going to show them. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be in such a rush. Right. Yeah, like I said, everything is Mattel. Um, even the Mario Brothers in there, it's boxed. The box is quite... Eh, not the cleanest, but it's Mattel. The console's Mattel. The cartridges Mattel, it's got everything on there. So yeah, it's a collector's item. The um, inner packaging has got the lid, the console itself is nice and clean. The box isn't that bad, I suppose, on closer thought. I've seen better, but it's not that bad. But um, yeah, it's a nice collector's item for you Nintendo heads out there. Groovy. Mm -hmm. cool. um, right, any Simpsons fans out there in the wide, wide world? We've got a copy of, boxed copy of Bart vs. the World and of Bart vs. the Space Mutants. Um, Space Mutants is a lot more easier to find. Don't really, I've never really seen many copies of Bart vs. the World here. Um, but yeah, that's all nice, boxed, clean and lovely and groovy. For anyone who must get punished whilst gaming, we have one of Konami's early Protectors. Uh, again, scruffy, boxed, but complete. Um, really nice condition, uh, really nice quality rather, game. Um, real must for any side scroll and shooter fans. This is awesome. We also have a boxed and complete Mega Man 2. Again, the box has seen better days, but it's not that bad. Nothing's falling apart. It's just got some general wear and tear, some few bends in the box. Um, we will obviously price on condition, so this won't be worth as much as a mint box copy will, of course. But it's still, you know, it's still a good item to have for anyone that doesn't have a boxed Mega Man 2. Going back to the mainstays for collections, now most, most people with any NES selection would already have this, but this is a particularly clean one at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, boxed manuals, polystyrene bottom, Nintendo slip sleeve. Really nice condition, original Mario Brothers. And most of the times that we see Mario in the shop, the original Mario for the NES that is, it's actually the double cartridge with Duck Hunt. So it's actually kind of nice to have Mario 1 on its own without the double cartridge. So we do have some of the double carts. Um, anyone that likes Ninja Turtles, we have got not one, not two, not three, but four copies of Turtles for the NES. They Should we spray each one a different colour for each of the turtles? We were actually just about to say that. <laughs> I was about to say, you got one for each turtle. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> it's a shame you can't do four player on it, because otherwise this would be really, really oh, useful. Oh, you can't do four player on it? No. Oh, well, that's a shame. I know. That would be great fun. <laughs> oh, no, of course you can't do the four player on that one. What else do we have in our lovely box? Um, Festus Quest. Um, any prices you see here will be revised, by the way, because we are currently going through a, what is it, Big Summer Blowout? <laughs> <laughs> reprice of armor. A reprice of armor. So um, Festus Quest will not be £15. It'll probably be a bit cheaper because the box is rather eh, to, you know, <laughs> for lack of good vocabulary. But still, Festus Quest is a good game, if very, very weird. Speaking of mint condition Yay. boxed games, we've got Battleship. We don't even know when this came in. I found it just now when I asked Alex, when did that come in? And he's like, I don't know. So we have no idea when that came in. Traditional version of the game, no Liam Neeson. Uh, <laughs> what is it with you and Liam Neeson today? I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to get you a jumper with his face on. <laughs> well, replace my lovely Christmas jumper. Yeah, isn't that awesome? <laughs> <laughs> 
Codemasters, boxed micro, ah, boxed micro machines, tatty box, but uh, uh, cartridge is good, manual's good, and finding a boxed Codemasters game is kind of difficult, it seems. So, yeah, any micro machine fans or even just general NES collectors, get in touch. Oh, anything here that you want prices on, by all means, send us an email over Facebook or um, on whatever emails attached to our YouTube account and we'll get back to you. Paper Boy 2! Yeah, we've, we've, no. funnily, funnily enough, we've also actually got that exact game on the Super Nintendo. That's in the back. So. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, a massive selection of car families. Thank you, cameraman. Um, all sorts of wonders here. We've got Robocop, Track and Field, your standard sports ones, uh, Marble Madness. And again, all the prices will be changed very, very soon. So if you see any prices here, please ignore them. <coughs> Slight oddities. Square's first foray into video gaming before yeah. they started off on the uh, Final Fantasy series. Got a copy of Gyromite in. You know, unfortunately, no Rob to go with it. But if anyone has actually got the NES Rob set and happens to miss the copy of Gyromite, then we have a copy right here. Bad Dudes vs. Dragon Ninja. More Double Dragon spin off, but uh, still a very quality game. Right, let's see. Um, we've got some nice standard fare here Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers, for example. Oh, we also have. Double Dragon 2! Very, very water damaged uh, box though. I think mm. it was in somebody's attic for quite a long time, wasn't Unfortunately, it? Unfortunately, yeah. But it is complete. It is complete. Uh, an old uh, Battletoads as Hooray. well. So and again, we all the classics. And again, we happen to have Battletoads on the Super Nintendo as well. Cool. Right, I think that just about does it for today. Yeah. If there's anything you see or would like further questions about any of our NES stock, just give us a shout at the store through our Facebook uh, messages or contact at levelup-games.co.uk Indeed. Thank you. Thanks guys. Bye.